it's a great time for ag automation. Uh, we've already got our wheels dirty, delivering thousands of robots to the home, but um, you know they have experienced a lot of difficulty getting labor in agriculture. There's a real increased demand for organic food, and it takes a lot more you know, hands-on to grow organic food than to just dump fertilizer and to dump herbicides on your farmland. And it's really a much more sustainable practice, which is, as I have been, I, you know, I, now I get to choose what I want to do. I want to do something that is intentional, that does help, help the world. Um, and also there's herbicide-resistant weeds. They're coming on very strong, and there's nothing in the pipeline that's going to be approved that's going to take care of them. Um, so the, even the stuff that we are using, which isn't that great to be using, you won't be able to be used for a long amount of time uh, because nature finds a way. <laughs> and then there's an increasing population, so um, you can't, we're not really expanding farmland, right? So we have to make the current farmland more productive. And so all these trends together, combined with the AI explosion, which I know you've all been talking about, combined with electrification of everything, makes component technologies and sensor technologies really well available. And the uh, increase of acceptance of AI by the farmers. Farmers are always being early adopters, by the way. You know, they'll go out and if something's wrong with their tractor, they, they're very hands-on, they fix it, they understand it, they're very practical, very capable, exactly the right kind of customer for this automation uh, technology.